An award-winning journalist, Nadine is an experienced presenter in the world of business and finance and has hosted and facilitated programs and live events for a diverse range of businesses and organisations. Rising numbers of families are surviving the credit crisis by finding a second income, proving that necessity is the mother of all inventions. In the recent boom years, millions of us have used our rising house prices to fund our modern, lavish lifestyles. But today, with falling property prices, that is no longer an option. So what other ways are there for cash-strapped households to generate extra funds? Well, there are probably four main areas that can help you boost your income, and they're your property, your possessions, your time and your skills. And out of those, it's your property that's probably your biggest asset and your biggest financial commitment, and potentially your biggest earner. The number of homeowners who have taken in a lodger to help pay towards their mortgage over the last few months has soared. OK, I'll admit, taking a lodger does mean that you are going to give up your spare room and some privacy. But through something called a rent-a-room scheme, you can earn up to £4,250 a year without having to pay any tax. Now, I've worked that out to be roughly £80 a week extra in your pocket, tax-free. And if you're sitting there thinking, I don't have a spare room, well, you could always turn your lounge into a bedsit. Now, the thought may horrify you at first, but let's face it, losing a room in your home is better than losing your home itself. Now, by the end of this year, it's estimated that just over three and a half million people will be liable to pay inheritance tax. So coming up, we're going to show you that just a little bit of inheritance tax planning could literally save your family hundreds of thousands of pounds and could be one of the best decisions that you make here on planet Earth.